our resident TV guy. <laughs> Mike, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Very well. Very well. Very happy to be here back on, uh, you know, Vibes Radio. Yeah. Always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Shout out to our listeners. Um, we are also now, uh, shout out to our viewers who are on KTN News who are watching us. Today is Dear Mr. President, as we do it every single Wednesday from 7 to 8 a.m. I think we should start things off. So, you know, in a home, there's a head of the family. Mm -hmm. It could be the dad or it could be the mom. The head gives guidance. Say, for example, we're the kids. When you're going to school and your parent tells you, go to school, you don't go to school because you want to go to school. You go to school because your parent tells you, that's what I want you to do. And you go to school and you do it. And you like it. And you go to school and the teacher asks you, why do you have this kind of shoes? Go home and tell your parent to buy you new shoes. And then dad tells you, sasa unataka nifanya nini? <laughs> so Kenya, with that analogy, we, we, it, it feels like we have two or three or five dads. Mom has like, you know, five husbands who give so many directions that at some point, we, where are we? You know? So today, dear Mr. President, we're talking about the Big Four agenda. And is the Big Four agenda dead? I'm going to hand it over to you. Yes, that's the question. Is the Big Four agenda dead? And to just uh, tag and piggyback on your analogy, mm -hmm. Combox, yes. actually not... I look at it this way. Not just that mom has five husbands, mm -hmm. but she has uh, three husbands. Mm -hmm. Then one of the sons is also, you know, um, a symbol of authority. Yeah. And as a result, is giving instructions. Mm -hmm. One of the daughters on the other end is also giving instructions. So that home is completely messed Chaos. up. Uh, such that you cannot even tell who's, who's a symbol of leadership. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the big four, we started off with being told by the president, let us concentrate on development pekeake. Yeah. And our goal is this big four. Mm -hmm. Katika tia hiyo, kukakua na kahanshi, yes. kakaingia. Uh -huh. Hanshi kuingia, tukambiwa sasa kuna kitu ingine inaitua BBI. Yes. Na tukambiwa, BBI ngo jeni until, uh, you know, this report comes out. When yes. it comes out, it is the silver bullet that Kenya has been waiting for mm. to sort us out. Mm. Haya, BBI ndio hiyo metoka. Yes. Sasa Big Four, tumesahau kabisa. Yeah. Sasa tunambiwa, tukai tuna BBI. Siondoke hapo, just stay on BBI. Uh -huh. Now the question is, um, what are we supposed to be following? Now before you end up Because this was the main agenda. Absolutely. If you go to the standard newspaper's uh, front page today, mm -hmm. you have prices of food that have gone... Nyanya Zimenda up with 120% wow. from 2008, between 2008 and, and 2019, now. 2019, yeah. 120, Nyanya. Yeah. Nyanya yeah. uh, the cost has gone up with 120%. Let me ask you, Kwambox, where mshara yako imenda up nangapi? Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Brian. Kwambox, back to your analogy. Mm -hmm. We have the head of the family. Yeah. We're headless. As a country, we're headless. Hakuna kitu in idea in terms of direction. Because mm -hmm. most of the things that we had planned in terms of food security, affordable housing, manufacturing, mm -hmm. and affordable healthcare, there's no development right now after since its announcement that Uneza Sema, by the way, listen, this is working out. Because when you come to something less like affordable housing, 91% of Kenyans are tenants. Mm -hmm. And right now, everyone is struggling yeah. right now yeah. with the rent. You see, even right now, when things are going up. Including rent. Yeah, including rent. Hakuna mm -hmm. Asema, by the way, kuna venye, I've, I've been able to actually... Akuna ma, it's only that one story that we did earlier on this yeah. year where we said there's a landlord who said that at a reduced price here rent. Out of his but, goodness of his heart. Yes, but each and everywhere, kuna venye cost and cost of everything is actually Growing increasing. Yeah, mm. So there's no way that even BBI is a kutusaidia in this economy. Mm. But 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 maybe to cut them some slack, yeah. once I was with Uhunyo on uh, Sunday. Look just, at you. Know, you. Just, just, just to throw it there. Ndiyo, ndiyo sana tukiwa na Mr. Dear Mr. President, umuwe muna nituma. But anyway, just to cut them some slack kidogo, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure their logic or their reasoning might be the only way we'll get the, to the big four agenda yeah. is if we have some semblance of peace and political stability. Uh, stability. Yeah. And that's why now BBI becomes important. Mm -hmm. But my beef with that is the fact that we've now changed focus completely. To, from big four? From big four to, to BBI. Be, uh, I, I, I want to kick in there. You see, first time, first time mm. of daddy being here mm. the, uh, the agenda was the laptops mm -hmm. i remember okay. the conversation started mm -hmm. you know th this it was a campaign promise and it literally everywhere you'd go hey what are your class order and i get laptops mm -hmm. See, to lima, your time bila laptops yeah. I think now your story will change mm -hmm. kabisa time two big, uh, big four agenda 
tumekuwapa tukisema hey big four maze affordable housing hells yeah mm-hmm. you know uh, uh, universal health coverage everybody needs that mm-hmm. what you're going to be giving food security to the whole nation mm-hmm. this is this this sounds like a good plan in fact even sounds better than laptops mm-hmm. and then now there's you know the bbi so for for me you know when you look at this you're just like has big four agenda failed and to save face we're now you know saying okay you know what let's just make sure that the country is at least peaceful and safe and because maybe this housing agenda is in uh, or this big, big four agenda is in happening keep in mind mm-hmm. last week the president was in uh, ukambani mm-hmm. i think it was machakos um launching the 8888 house project when i say launching it's not at the the houses were built and it could launch too <laughs> zime launch you mm-hmm. so w- whether it we will see the houses mm-hmm. we are yet remains to, see, to be seen we are yet, we are yet to see that but this is where i tell uh, our viewers and our listeners you can call us up 0719012700 dear mr president is big for agenda by the date. way combox i think i think personally mm-hmm. that uh, it's not that we are kind of losing focus i just think we do not have a focus yeah you know even the good book the bible tells us mm-hmm. that without a vision people perish hatuna vision yeah. what is our vision for this country I what, what is don't it know. yeah what is it that we can say that Honestly, we are so happy. The other day I was reading an article where Rwanda have now signed a deal with Qatar Airways mm-hmm. where they're going to expand their airport and it's going to be one of the biggest airports in Africa. Yeah. Kenya is watching us lose that position Space. of being, you know, the literally the hub of international movement when it mm-hmm. comes to Kenya. Mm-hmm. It's going to Rwanda. Let's even look at conferences. Yeah. Kenya used to be the place to go the for con- the yeah. hub for conferences. If anything was happening within East Africa, East and Central Africa, KICC. it would be in Kenya. Squeezy <laughs> kwapi? Rwanda, Rwanda Kigali. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just said the, the creatives uh, the Kusa. To Rwanda. To, uh, uh, tungoja. Mm-hmm. Vibes are too easy. Pole, 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 pole. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we're having this conversation, look at, for example, like um, the, the flooding that's happening all, all across the country. As in, this is part of uh, this idea of food security and, and nutrition. How many people are going to go hungry in that space? This was part, part of the Big Four agenda. Mm-hmm. So, I'm thinking that there should have been a plan knowing that these things happen. There's usually like floods. But what we're seeing is it, it doesn't look like concerted effort. It looks like that governor is battling his own, you know, thing over there and that governor is battling his own thing. What about the national agenda? You know, what is happening? Is the big four agenda still alive or now Sasa Mamboni BBI? Mm-hmm. We want you to call us up 0719012700. Uh, Maoniako Yanahita Jika right here on Vibes Radio and live on KTN News. Remember, you can also use the hashtag VibesMVP and KTN Morning Express. <laughs> <laughs> Sema kuhang. <laughs> okay, so um, aside from that, um, you know, right now as a nation, right, there's a lot of good things. Like, you know, there's the the ACP, which is currently happening. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it's dealing with, like, immigrants and, and whatnot, you know. Right. So there, there are a few conferences that are coming into the 254. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and and by the way, that ACP conference yeah. uh, was mainly focusing on gender equality, having youth included mm-hmm. in terms of development. And Kenya is not doing very well. In fact, again, I go back to Rwanda, where they already have 50% of uh, women in their parliament. And that's the thing. Mm-hmm. We just don't seem to have a focus when it as, as a country mm-hmm. of what we want to do and where we are. That's why Leo took on a big four. Kesho took on a ingine. God knows what 2020 what is going to bring in. But let me ask you, if we, if we were to say something dope, do you think the war on corruption is is actually now catching steam? Mm-mm. Because I've seen politicians now, you know, kiona cha zako kikinyolewa, tia chakomaji. I've seen politicians discrediting Matiangi, discrediting DPP and DCI. Mm. Because unajua chances are oh, you're next yeah. you know so they they're discrediting so is is it possible that the war on corruption is actually gaining traction after they arrested Waititu mm-hmm. of course guys thought i by the way hmm, maybe someone will actually be jailed yeah. but you see right now yeah it's too officy but there's no progress in there you can see there's no tangible progress that you can say by the way this guy is actually going to be jailed mm-hmm. and for this time span but, but the but, people who say that mm-hmm. the judiciary is down that's letting us down mm-hmm. yeah because the DPP weakest, and DCI are right. doing their thing mm-hmm. getting uh, ev- uh, sufficient evidence taking them to um you know for questioning at ESCC and then the next thing say okay we've opened and uh, you you we felt um we're going to arrest you mm. and then you get arrested of course you you're taken to a, uh, court like what's going to happen in Sonko today mm-hmm. and then he'll get his uh, bail you know and then after that where does the judiciary leave us 
And you see, the thing is, I think what discourages Kenyans to answer your question is the war gaining traction. Mm. We would feel, we would be made to feel like it's gaining, gaining traction. But here's the thing, today's Wednesday. Yeah. Sonko is going to appear before the judges and either be granted bail or not. Yeah. And and I mean, they say the law, am I allowed to say the law is an ass? I'm, I'm not allowed to say that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm not, okay, so I won't say it. Let's just so, say you're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not allowed, so I can't say that. So anyway, <laughs> Sonko, Sonko is going to appear yeah. uh, before the judge today. Yeah. And the reason why, as Kenyans, we feel so discouraged is because I can almost predict the letter mm -hmm. that he is going to be released. Let's even backtrack a little bit yeah. and mm -hmm. not even go to, to court. Where is Sonko right now? He's not in a cell. He's in Kenyatta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amelalianini? Kitanda. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's the thing. All our leaders seem to ha somehow have a way of getting away with it. Mm. We have a governor who's been accused uh, of murdering, mm -hmm. who's been accused of uh, corruption and, uh, you know, abuse of office. Yeah. Where are they today? They're at home. Chilling. Mm. Lounging, mm. chilling. So how have we won that war? Until we get convictions and still people start doing time, mm -hmm. uh, as Kenyans, we are left thinking, ah, see, yeah, but but judiciary judiciary is, judiciary is, isn't that where yeah, the judiciary is letting us down? But you see, unfortunately, that's why I'm saying the law is, I can't say the law is an ass, but uh, the, the reason <laughs> why I can't say that is because yes. <laughs> uh, they have to follow the law as it is. And you know where yeah. we went wrong? Uh -huh. uh, let's go back to The Hague. Yeah. We uh, said yeah. that the president and the deputy cannot... That until they're proven guilty, yes. they must be free. So it's the same thing. It's just we must give the same box. space to everybody else. So it's catch twenty two. Okay, shout out to Mjuku Wasalamba who says, "Listening, uh, you live from Lodwa. We hear it's only God helping us. We must buy food to survive." Ata kunyeshiaji ule tembolea kiasi gani atusaidiki jushamba ni mawe. So we suffer the most. There's food insecurity. Listen to that. Listen to that. Call us up 0719012700. We're about to get onto the phone lines. We'd love to hear from you. According to you, is a big four agenda dead? Because right now, I think the whole country is just talking about BBI. Um, which 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 con conversations will be going on to what? To, um, Probably February. no. The, the only thing, yeah, the only thing that will give us a break, kidogo, mm -hmm. ni Christmas. What we end, we cool and busy. We not sure what we're going to discuss if you took a Christmas bash. Oh, not sure BBI when you look up. I mean, me, kwanza ni me ona i tanga tanga. So do you what? You know, it's all politics. You see, BBI and all that is all politics. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking big for agenda, it's development. There's a difference, and that's why you know when we moved, when we're talking about big for agenda, you know, I have a question. If um, there was no big for agenda mm -hmm. and the campaign promise was BBI. Would things be different? Hmm. Because there's no development in, you know, there's no development conversation around BBI. It's mm. it's how to Policies. how to make things work. Mm. How to make them work. How to make things work. But with big for agenda, you're showing us what there's gonna be affordable housing, I'm down for that. There's gonna be universal health coverage, I'm down for that. So food security, who's not down for that? Mm -hmm. So was it just a manifesto to just tell guys, look, this is cute. Uh, it looks good. I, it's I, cute. I, I, I know, feel that with both, bad of politicians will get after a way to steal cash. Mm -hmm. We see with affordable housing, one or another, you'll find a governor is the one who's building the houses All and right. they actually steal. We're going to go to the phone lines. Let's listen to what people have to say this morning. Good morning. 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 Yes, Joshua. Yes, I'm loving the morning debate. Eh? Thank you so much. And a very quick one. I think uh, our, our, our country is on an autopilot. <laughs> and, and, and I must say that uh, we went wrong when we decided to compromise on Chapter 6 of our Constitution, mm -hmm. which was supposed to save leadership and ensure that we get leaders of uh, integrity and people who are up to the task to deliver. Mm -hmm. But when we mutilated that and uh, defiled it during the ICC issue, mm -hmm. then uh, we, 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 we laid the bed and now we must lie on it. I think um, it's time Kenyans reawaken and really ask themselves what they, what they want for their nation. Mm -hmm. Because the way things are happening, definitely this country is going to hell in Amkokoteli. Things are not good. Kenyans are suffering. And we don't seem to have someone who is able to come up strongly and, uh, and address these issues that are facing Kenyans. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Joshua. That's Joshua from yeah. Kirinyaga. Actually citing... Uh, Constitu um, from the Constitution, um, Chapter 6, which basically talks about the responsibilities of leadership, which Absolutely. which is something we need to address. Mm. Maze, as in, how do we sit here after two years or three years of election and then someone says, oh, this guy actually is needed in Shimolato. <laughs> Come <laughs> on! You want, to tell, you want to tell, as in, una tell kusama Kenyans ni, wafala ama nini? Naiko kwa Constitution kwanza, Chapter 6. Just hold on your thoughts. Let's listen to what Kenyans have to say. Good morning, Mike. Oh, morning, morning, my, my, uh, morning, uh, Vice Radio. How are you? <laughs> 
I'm fine, thank you. Uh, Changi Story, today's dear president. Uh, Kenya, we have we spend a lot of time talking politics, 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 and the politicians take advantage of us because we forget very fast. Mm. Yeah, we forget very fast. We've lost focus. We've lost leadership. Mm. The 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 further direction. That's, this is the way they are, we are we are going. But Mike, would you the say we, po- would you say we've ever had like you know is there a time Kenya has had that leadership? Yani le yani what umek uko calm unajua we are heading in the right direction. Ah no, not really, not really. Okay, so not you really. so is this a leadership thing? Yeah, we we need leadership and a strong leadership, and we need first of all a strong war on corruption mm. and integrity. Okay. And we should have a real focus. In big four, the big four agenda is dead. I, uh, and we, and we and we should include sports. Sports should have been included in the the big four agenda, and should it should be big five. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Mike. That's Mike from Gong. Um, he says the big four agenda is dead. It's dead, and uh, I beg to differ with him just slightly. Mm-hmm. That I think we've had leadership at some point. Yeah, Bucks. Kibaki. Yeah, uh, that guy. He didn't say much. Like in a kika tu pale kismama. Wachana na uyo. Yeah. Uyo. Wachana na uyo ni ujinga. Like ni inchi lienda. We moved from uh, you know a country that depended on aid from uh, outside the country mm-hmm. to where we were actually able to supply ourselves. Brian, hold your thought as we, of course. Uh, get back to the phone lines. Remember, you can call us up 0719012700. Good morning. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, this is Vibes Radio and KTN News. Good morning. Who are we speaking to? Okay, I don't hello? think I'm bado apo. You're me hang. I'm me hang bado. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Who are we speaking to? This is uh, Collins. Eh? Collins, where are you calling from? Um, I'm calling from uh, Nairobi, Kangwa. Eh? All right, let's 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 go. What would you like to share with us this morning? In Kenya, in Kenya, sir. Uh huh. Kuse maukweli kumpozi tu kona. Uh huh. Like ni mesiko hati kumbi ni kwa ni na umulo kishinga minani. Oh, Collins, your network is letting you down. Your your network is letting you down. Tafuta pali pengine utupigie simu tafadhali. Giko ka big for agenda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, man. The guys are calling in. Yeah, hang up. Patrick, good morning. Hello. Habari ya subuhi. Ah, ni komzuri, madam. Labda nini? Sisi tuko salama. Tunongeje ya big four agenda. According to you, is it dead or is it still kicking? Nafikia mko live kwa KTN lakini mimi sina si bado ni pana log nini. Hamna shida, hamna shida. Sasa mimi nasema hii big four agenda ya president. Mhm. Wenye wanamwangusha sana ni wale walikuwa marafiki zake kabisa. Mhm kama huyu songo so unaona alikuwa anampigia pigia simu oh, kuna jamu mahali fulani nini anapigia president simu atiamuokoe sasa mimi nasema bwana hii bid for agenda uhuru inafaa simame tu president wetu asimame kidete ki kabisa akatae hata koti kama inakataa mambo ya kuwe naye kiburi kijake atetee inji mm. teori ile akitetea inji legacy ya kienda watu tutakumbukanga eh bwana uhuru alitusafia hii mm. Mm? Sauru unaona kibacha alitetea vijana ba nini pikipiki wanasifu uhuru wanasifu mm. president kiki nani kibacha alitetea pikipiki sasa hivi vijana wanatumia uhuru na wacha legacy okay. uhusu hii watu ufitadi aweke ndani all right asante ah, thank you so much this patrick from kitale let's just speak a few more phone calls hello good morning good morning how are you i'm good so we're talking about the big four agenda do you think it's still on track Yeah, it is. Um, listening in and hearing people talking about it being dead. Eh? Mm-hmm. There is a third medium-term plan mm-hmm. that is aligned to Vision 2030. Okay. And the third me- uh, medium-term plan talks about uh, <coughs> integrating the big four targets into Vision 2030. Mm-hmm. So it's work in progress. It's not like it's dead. Even if the targets uh, would be difficult to achieve, mm-hmm. they can still be achieved in other terms that are coming up. So it is not 
something separate from the vision 2030 that has been integrated into one. But let me ask you a question. Uh, you're talking about other terms. This is the president's last term. We could get another president. No, who has no, a... no. Mm -hmm. Medium term plan is a is a is a is a is a, is a, is a plan. Then is a, is a, is a part of the vision 2030 plan that has been split from the vision 2030 targets. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's separate, as in the term of the president is uh, linked to the vision uh, to the medium term plan. No, it has just been aligned to the term of the president, but it's an ongoing thing. All right, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Eldoret. Okay, thank you so yeah. much for calling. All right, so he he raises an interesting point there. Um, so let's let's go back to. Um, what I think there was a listener who asked something I completely forgot, but we're going to go back into the phone once and then come back. Hello, good morning. Hello. How are you? Hello. Yes. Can you hear us? I don't think he Hello? can. Hello. I don't think he can. Good morning. How are you? How are you? We are good. Who are we speaking to? We are speaking to Martin Kings from Oma Bay. Martin Kings. We're talking about the big yes, four agenda. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Martin, please stop. Yes. Stop watching yourself on the TV. Uh, yes. Hello, Martins. All right. I'm, yes. I'm going to give him a chance to first uh, switch Put off, off his all TV. those radios yeah. and TVs. All right. Good morning. Morning to you. How are you? We are fine. Thank you. Who are we speaking to? Come on, bro. Where are you calling from? Odaya. Odaya. All right. Changi is to your Leo. Wow. Uh, you know, the government is doing nothing so far. Sorry, what? I'm saying mm -hmm. the government is doing nothing so far. Nothing. Yes. Uh, according to the uh, four SD uh, that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Corruption is, uh, corruption is rampant. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, would you say the big four agenda is dead, or would you think it's uh, maybe it's just fainted? Let me ask him. Can you imagine I'm going to faint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a complete you know doing nothing. Ah, yeah, okay. So. Thank you so much. I think Kamoto made his point. Yes. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's doing nothing. And nothing, nothing, nothing. No, nothing. But there's something that the previous caller, there's a caller who called in um, the guy, and he said that uh, this big four agenda will be integrated in Vision 2030. My question is, if another president comes in, say, mm -hmm. Mike, you run for presidency, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you have a different plan. In fact, you even scrapped this idea of big four and everything. You say you want to go in this direction. Aren't you allowed to do that? You are. And so, that's why you're president, because you have uh, your vision. Mm -hmm. Your party yeah. ideally should have a vision, yeah. uh, which is another problem I think we have in this country because our parties really don't have ideology mm -hmm. or something that they follow. Because yeah. ideally, that's what should make you president. Yeah. And as a result, you come and say, for me, it's education. Yeah. Look at Moy. Yeah. Moy's um, main legacy was mainly education. Mm -hmm. And he did a lot. Yeah. Maziwa mm -hmm. uh, And that's why there was a lot of uh, even, even growth of, uh, what are they called, Tibet or, uh, you know, polytechnics at that time. Yeah. But where we are right now, the only thing that we can think of with Jubilee government is corruption. Okay, but I just want to go back to the big four because it says, for example, enhancing manufacturing, um, universal health coverage. He said that some of these have been integ in integrated into the 2030. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, but 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 you came in and said that you're going to do this big four agenda. At least to Zanga, you know, at least, you know, in, in your second year, third year, to mm -hmm. you know, if you talk about universal health coverage, they, you know, we, we, we hear cases of massive, Massive corruption. So you can't say that you're you're on the on the way going somewhere. If, for example, you were supposed to deliver something here, and then you got a puncture and you delivered it in another building, have you delivered it? You have not. That's what I'm saying. And, so you you, yeah. you you for us, we're talking about big four agenda from actions. In terms and of, yeah, sorry, go on. Uh, in terms of actions, since we are talking about the caller who talked about Vision 2030, yeah. right now farmers are being frustrated. Mm -hmm. In terms of the food price in, in Endelea Kusonga Songa yeah. Kilasa, yeah. farmers are actually going to harvest their food. Mm -hmm. Then 
in terms of pricing, imagine you invest, let's like a, a whole one million bob. Then in terms of selling, you mm -hmm. get 500,000. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Then in terms of the big four agenda, the same guys who are frustrating Uhuru in the previous term are the same guys who are supposed to implement the big four agenda. How does it work like that? Mm -hmm. The same guys who stole last time, Nabado Atai by time. So the economy too in the Kuanguka. In fact, what frustrates us as Kenyans when it comes to action, because action is there. By the way, let's be fair mm -hmm. and agree, kuna action. Like in Sasa Shida, ni kwamba action ni for instance SGR mm. SGR in Akuja it costs us five times the amount it would cost any other country then we're left with a choo-choo train here uh, <laughs> instead of a speed train on top of that it's heading to nowhere uh, yes exactly yeah. to yeah. nowhere uh, talk about uh, food security mm -hmm. um, we would expect that there would be some concessions done by government to ensure that you know th importation of say machinery yeah. uh, technology that helps us grow stuff comes in lakini wapi hakuna hapo sandi yoshida iku let's talk to people because uh, the phones are really Buzzing. Hello, good morning. Hello. Habari ya subui? Salama. Tunonge na nani mwezetu? This is Duncan from Mombasa. Yes, Duncan. Hello. Uh, I would like to come here. Is that KTN News Vibe? Yes, this is KTN News and Vibes Radio. Yeah, there is something you mentioned that actually are the judges doing what is right? Yes. Uh, I would like to challenge you that. Mm -hmm. Because what the judges are doing is absolutely right. Simply because... Mm -hmm. Uh, with these judges, we are having they really have so many problems with, with the government. Mark, you that the ones who should, who should actually need to save us from this uh, this irony that is going on about the draft. Mm -hmm. But the main problem is look at uh, the complaints of the judiciary, especially the chief justice, complained last time that yeah. there is a budget judges need. Yeah, they gave out their their their, their budget. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the government will reduce the, the budget so that they can run effectively. Do you remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if the uh, judiciary will say, this is the budget we need. But so the budget was restored. Work. The budget was restored. No, the, it was cut. It was cut. Oh yeah, it was cut, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so your, point is, your point is that uh, judiciary are doing what they need to do. Yeah, as per the budget they are given. You see, these guys, they have a lot to do. Yeah. Remember, uh, there's a time, mm -hmm. there is a time I was passing somewhere. Mm -hmm. Hello, yes. you, yeah, please, you, please switch off your TV so you don't get confused. Oh, okay, let me put it low. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, yes. these guys, the judiciary, they complained mm -hmm. that actually their budget was reduced, yes, right? Yes, yes. And remember that the very people who need to save us from this draft. Mm -hmm. And actually, they are not at peace. They can't work effectively. Mm -hmm. Look at the allowances they're having. I was surprised even the vehicles they're using, they're using the old GK that our local chiefs used to use before. Mm -hmm. And look at the vehicles the politicians are using yeah. nowadays. Mm -hmm. Go to court. In my area, yeah, there are two courts. Something funny, a court <laughs> is equivalent to a single room yeah. whereby it can't even fit 20 people. Mm. And you expect a judge to be in the very, very room to solve cases. Yeah. What they do, they'll postpone even six months. Then well, after six months, they forward the case to 12 months. Mm -hmm. Finally, the case disappears. Wow. Furthermore, mm -hmm. I would like to ask a question. Yes. Just a research. Mm -hmm. After the handshake, mm -hmm. how many... ODM governors have been in court due to grass cases. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for that one. That's there's a lot. There's a lot of that. That, that, that. that conversation was loaded. But I agree with him because the, there's a lot of finger pointing towards the judiciary when it comes to this matter of graft. Because DCI and DPP, you know, it's like it's like the the renegade. Mm. You know, we have caught the bounty. We've caught caught the thief. We've got the evidence. You know, and it's like your relation and celebration mm. because corruption is being stifled. And then, and then nothing. <laughs> so and, and then so absolutely been, nothing. Yeah, so and so has been arrested on a because Friday evening. Journalist to Nabeba no to na boy camera uko to atoa. Someone is you know t being taken into uh, you know chup, 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 chup. now they are arriving at uh, Judi uh, uh, high court. Milimani high you know court. Milimani high court. Mm. They get there bail hearing and then maybe they should stop hearing this bail. 
You know, mm. because honestly, when how is it possible that when the police, and this is not even just with corruption, mm. with just basically everything, but only for rich people, because poor people can attest that even without sufficient evidence, who condani, dani, dani. Let's go. Kuku one. Yeah. You will go in. Hello. All right, we're going to give him a chance or she a chance to figure that out. Ifantas, good morning. Morning, how are you? We're great. Uh, oh, nice to hear from you. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. if um, I want to mention one thing or two. Yes. Um, in terms of um, how the government is uh, running, mm-hmm. to me, I would say to Mr. President, Mr. President should have been having the, the most easiest uh, way to work for this government. Mm-hmm. You know why? Mm-hmm. The reason being, we have the infrastructure, or rather the systems are there when you took over from uh, uh, former President Kibaki. Yeah. So you would have continued the same system because already the aligned uh, Vision 20 that was there. Mm-hmm. So for him now was to align the Vision 20 that and implement the constitution to the latter. Yes. And the, the other thing now he has the the country has moved moved on in terms of uh, peace environment. I mean, uh, uh, this guy Raira is uh, together with the government. Mm-hmm. So who would have been having the most issues? Remember, mm-hmm. uh, president, former president Kibaki had very rough time to work with the, during that time because there were issues yeah. in terms of they were not coming up very well with uh, Raira. Mm-hmm. But still, he managed to move on and do something. Yeah. So you can imagine how far Uhuru would go if they are working hand in hand with the with the Raila because the environment allows that. Okay. All right. Yes, and then so in terms of the agenda that he has laid out, the agenda four. Mm-hmm. All this is actually aligned very well with the vision 2030. Yeah. For him, it's just to implement but not come up with. This something else that would require a lot of resources allocated because the system is there. Mm-hmm. The vision 20 that is there to guide him across. So Kenyans are just there to to, to enjoy what he would have done, you yeah. know, from the step that my former president moved the country to. All right. Thank you so much, yeah. Fantas. That's Fantas from Bubu sharing his thoughts there. Remember, you are live on KTN News and Vibes Radio. Um, I'm Kwambox, um, Bunde, and Michael Gitonga. You can also reach out to us using the hashtag VibesMVP and KTN News Morning. Yes, morning. KTN. KTN Morning Express or KTN News KE. Yeah. Days okay, off. so, you know, I'm just going to wheel it back, okay? Mm-hmm. Personally, when we started this conversation about is the Big Four agenda dead, the way we look at it is actions. What are we seeing? Because even when we talk about housing, we've just seen a project being launched. Mm. Okay? And lo- being launched, it hasn't started. You get? So for, for when you promise me uh, that this is what you're going to do, so give me your vote. And then we sit here and now we're arguing about, is this thing dead? Are we still heading in the same direction? Is it Vision 2030? You know, or is it Vision I'm doing it right now? Because when you are giving us this uh, manifesto, this this plan, it, it was like, we're going to do it. Mm-hmm. It's going to get done. Mm-hmm. Don't even question it. Universal health coverage, done. Absolutely. Housing, done. National food security, if you look at previous clips when campaign was happening, that's what we're told. Mm-hmm. So when we're sitting there asking if Big Four agenda is dead, because now we've moved from Big Four to BBI. And uh, for that caller who just called uh, Ifantas, he said that, um, you know, after the handshake, things would have been easier. It has borne the BBI. Mm. Yeah. And which is supposed to be changing how things work. How things work. Yeah. And I spoke to a politician yesterday and mm-hmm. he kind of provoked me to thinking this way. And I just want to put it across and mm-hmm. maybe we can look at that. Yeah. But... He told me politicians don't lie. Mm-hmm. But what happens is that the truth today mm-hmm. cannot it- be maybe a different truth tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, it, should, oh, so basically, face. so in, in in short, uh, for a politician, yeah. if I tell you today in our party are laptops, yeah. that mm-hmm. is the truth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And by the way, you new and new quality, take it to the bank. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that truth may change tomorrow. And yeah. he explained the reason why that truth may change is because first of all, the other political things that play mm. budget may not be approved. Mm-hmm. See what may happen. So now coming to the big four, at the point the president and I'm not defending him. Yeah. At the point the president came and said Kenya. Big Four is the dream that we have. Yeah. You know how Obama would speak and he say, yes, we can. Yes. Yes. For us, Kenya, it was, yes, Big Four, we can. Yeah. Lakini iyo ilikuwa ukweli ya jana. Yeah. Ukweli ya leo ni kwamba BBI sasa ime take over. We didn't read the fine print. Because fine print it said, I will give you this Big Four 
all factors withstanding. Yes. <laughs> and and what's going to happen predicting now? Yes. They say that the best way to predict the future is to look at the past. Yes. Uh, Kenya, the way I know it, my lovely country that I love with all of my heart, mm -hmm. uh, we have now right now the BBI. Yes. So what's going to happen is that Christmas itakuja tutaenda tukae chini zo chama kambuzi kapikwe mm -hmm. for those who can manage to get a goat because mm. the economy ni mbaya. Yeah. This time we might be looking at chicken instead of goats. Yeah. So, wakika chini tuonge story ya BBI come January to mm -hmm. Yeah. Something else will come up. Then we will discuss that. By the time we get to 2022, we are back to another truth from politicians yeah. that is not going to remain truth for five years. And keep in mind, the president, he's already served his two terms. So there's someone else who's going to come in and give us a new agenda, you know? And um, so, but the question is, this agenda that we have, how is it working? Is it dead? Has it fainted, as Mike asked? Let's go to the phone lines. Jackson from Nyeri, good morning. Jackson, how are you, madam? <laughs> We're good, Jackson. <laughs> Where went your Jackson? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just checking. Huh? <laughs> Sasa, mm -hmm. Yes. Na yada sema kitu mwaja. Mm -hmm. Hii agenda ya Big Four, mm. hiyo imefuri piyali. Jumiradi inafunguriwa, alafu hiyo maneno inakuishia hapa. Uh -huh. Ile kitu ingine ni ndetaka kuambia president. Mm -hmm. Ile plani ilikuwa na kibaki. Finivision 2030. Mm. Atileti ajeda ingine. Mm. Tuendele na hiyo maneno. Yeah. Sasa alikuja kuingilia BBI sasa yume take over. Mm. Tandi yu nimesema. Kuna mahali tulifail. Hata president ya kisema. Juu aliingilia sasa maneno ya BBI. Siyata ya kitanga tanga. Sijui nini. Anapila kelele. Badala afanya kazi yake. Sasa hapo niliona kama ulichuka chini, madam. Okay. Na tumamuja okay. Mr. President, asiyanze kukatilika. Mm. Afanya kazi na hile jia mzuri ya ungwa na hile anakaa chini. Aangalia watu tu. Unajua kuna kazi ngini unangalia watu. Mm -hmm. Kifanya upuzi. Eh. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. That's Jackson from Nyeri. By the way, is it just me or the president? Someone is really upsetting the president every day. Every time I see the, a video of the president, except when BBI was launched because he was very happy, mm. extremely happy. I've never seen him that happy. <laughs> Even somebody when he became me, president, he was never that happy. I don't happy. know if it's true, but somebody told me that he, maybe it has something to do with James and his sons. <laughs> We're just going to go to the phone lines. Mike, good morning. <laughs> Oh, we okay. Let me, let me just speak to someone else here. Good morning. James Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. How are you? We are good. Tafadhali lazima zima radio yako na TV ndio usiko usiko confuse ke. Okay. He's not ready. Ready. All right. Good morning. Uh, morning. Habari asubuhi. Uh, Njema kabisa. Tunaongea na nani mwenzetu? Na unaongea na Mutinda kutoka Muranga. Mutinda. Eh. Changia hii big four agenda. Unafikiri imededi ama iko kwa koma? You know, uh, kwamboka? Uh -huh. You know when you talk about uh, the big four? Uh -huh. Someone really asks you what exactly are you talking about? I think the big four died along even if you give the current administration 50 years they will never achieve anything. But allow me to address my, my dear president, who I love very much. Yeah? Yes. Uh, allow me to call him Uhuru Kenyatta and avoid the president because you know who a president is. You are the man in charge. Mm -hmm. You are the boss. When you cough, the entire country catches cold. Mm -hmm. When we have our president who I think has been too good, and I don't mean it in, in, in the sense that he should be dictatorial, mm -hmm. it is, he needs to stamp his authority and make people know that he is the boss. We've had our president who I think has been too lenient with everybody that um, people don't even recognize him. Let me give you a good example why we are not achieving at the big four. Mm -hmm. I remember the president saying that uh, he, he will wish that all civil servants and the government officials supported by even uh, demonstrating on Fridays by wearing Kenyan, made in Kenya uh, clothing, okay? Yeah, yeah. I will want you uh, and, and Mike tell me which day, the day you saw our deputy president who is the, the, the principal assistant to the president wearing a Kenyan shirt or a Kenyan trouser, okay? Mm -hmm. Number two, when we, we get uh, 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 this uh, uh, rhetoric from our government that um, 
we, we, we will achieve the big four and, and, and we need uh, uh, money and we are fighting corruption. Mm -hmm. Let's look at it this way. When you tell me that you are, you are, you are carrying out uh, lifestyle audits in Kenya, surely Kwaboka and Mike, mm -hmm. what life, lifestyle audit are you carrying out? A guy is employed today with nothing. Then after se seven months, he's driving a V8. Yep. The, the wife is doing a Porsche and he's doing five-story buildings in Sika and Kiambu. Mm -hmm. And you are telling me that you are conducting a, a lifestyle audit. What audit are you c c conducting? It's, it, it's plain for everybody to see that these fellows have stolen. Yeah. And because I know my president is very close to President Magufuli in Tanzania, mm -hmm. I think my president, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, should uh, pick his phone and call Magufuli and ask him how it's done. And this is how it's done. Yeah. Uh, you are a contractor in a road that is supposed to be completed in uh, in, in, in six months, yeah. a two kilometer or three kilometer stretch. Yes. And in Kenya, you you, you find that that uh, construction company has been given three months, uh, three years to complete mm -hmm. it. You need to explain it to me like a two year old. How you take three years to do a two kilometer road? And then anybody who was uh, pilfered and stolen public funds from Kenya. Let's spare Kenyans this uh, uh, rhetoric and, 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 and nonsense of taking people to court who have stolen our money that is supposed to give services to Kenyans. Mm. Let's lock them in. If the BBI BB wants to go through, and this is Joshua talking as a Kenyan, yes. let us make corruption in Kenya a capital offense. Friends. We cannot continue this way. It is not sustainable anymore, and this country is cracking. It can't work. All right. Thank you so much, Joshua. Joshua there very passionately po uh, po uh, po putting out his points. Mm. And to be honest, I agree with Joshua. When, when corruption is so, it's, it's at a, you know, like for example, while we're having this conversation there, Mr. President, mm -hmm. we know that when you set up the Big Four agenda, there was an idea. There was, there's something you wanted to do for Kenyans because it was your second term. This is your legacy. But then it has been, det like detractors have pulled it aside that even us, we're sitting here asking ourselves, is this thing still going on? Let me give you a scenario um, in terms of, uh, you know, I think where, where we are as Kenya. Yeah. I imagine Eliud Kipchoge doing the Ineos 159. Mm -hmm. Then as he starts this, that, that, that's now Uhuru. Eh? Yeah. As he starts running, there's so much happening on the side. Yeah. but he kept his focus yes his focus was i must break this record within uh, no human yeah. is limited yeah. below two hours mm. lazima ni malize yeah. mm. despite the fact that the whole world had stopped doing what they were doing to yeah. watch but yeah. now what kenya has happened is that ineos a night running uhuru ameanza race uh -huh. big phone ndio ile pale yeah Tumeanza kuona makamera zimekuja uh -huh. BBI ndio hiyo imekuja upande huu uh -huh. uh, kuna sijui uh, handshake, handshake upande ule mwingine tangatanga eh, tanga tanga, wameanza kutangadanga kieleweke hawaelewi hey, my friend yeah. distractions zimekuja now instead of running towards the goal i mean the the, the finish line tumeanza kukimia na hizi vitu zingine and you see it, it's so crazy to hear you know for me i think one of the craziest parts about this 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 second term mm -hmm. is hearing how angry the president is all the time he forgets that we it wasn't his 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 political you know associations that put him in presidency it's the yeah. kenyans so when when you're addressing the you know the munani chokesha munani kasirisha is it us you're addressing kenyans who voted for you or is it the, the people who are actually doing corruption so bad that you chances are you know them absolutely and some you know of them, them are your appointees some them. of them are your appointees i mean if yeah, they're so, your appointees no mekasirika now evo futakazi that's what i'm saying if the president is not able like he's that frustrated to a point he can't do anything that now he's addressing them on the microphone you know and sometimes you ask kenyans we get caught in the crossfire because we're like wait is he tired of us you know, is he is he is he angry at us? Mm -hmm. Because we haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. We're sitting here. We gave you the vote. Now, can we see the the actual? Can we see is, the action? The saddest thing is that they are actually following the wrong people. Because remember, two days ago, mm -hmm. the TSC said they are going to do a lifestyle audit yeah. on teachers. Yeah. Imagine how the hell are you looking for teachers who are corrupt? And it starts with the leaders. Yeah. Leader. But now you're forgetting to do a lifestyle audit from the top. Buko president, JDP, mm. just like that so yeah. that we can know the source of their funds. Let's listen to a few more phone calls before we wrap this up. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. May I contribute to the debate? Yes, who are we speaking to? Isaac is my name from Nairobi. Isaac. Yes, please. All right. Hello, Isaac. Talk to us. Yes. Yes, uh, good morning. Um, I, it's a very lively and interesting debate that uh, is going on. Uh, mine is very few. <laughs> BBI is, uh, I mean, um, before agenda is dead. Mm -hmm. As a caller said, Kenya is an autopilot. Actually, it's not an autopilot. It is uh, 
just hanging somewhere there in the air. And uh, so why the Big Four agenda is there is because of corruption. Number one, corruption. Number two, corruption. Number three, corruption. And number four, corruption. And for me, the day my heart sank is the day when our very own president stood on a podium and said, Jamini, nataka ni fanyanini. That was the day I think uh, the whole thing went haywire. If I elected you, you stood on a podium and say, elect me, I take promise, I'm going to do this and do that and okay. eliminate corruption and give you this. And then after a month, you come back and say, what do you want me to do? Mm. You should have thrown in the towel and say, take your country now and you go and elect someone and go home. But when you come back and say, what am I going to do? Then we are lost mm. because we are looking forward up to you as our leader. Yeah. So I think my advice to the dear president would be, look, you are left with few more years and uh, the story of uh, the beef agenda is gone. BBI is another diversion. As you just said, there's all these side shows that have been created. Kenya is in a country which is in a perpetual state of campaigning mm. after election to another election. Yeah. Now we have Tanga Tangas and Kielewe case and all these things are which, are which are going on. Tomorrow, give it two more months, and next year we are going to be forgetting all what we are talking about today and discussing something new. Mm-hmm. So my advice to him, you have a few more years left Forget about everything else. Please concentrate. If you put four or five big guys in jail and get by that money, you say, this is what I give you and my salam, a good boy. I think that's what we need. Yes. Nothing else is going to work. And that's my uh, 10 cent contribution. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you so much for calling. That's Isaac from Nairobi. And, uh, I think a lot of Kenyans would attest that we just want to see someone inside. Action. Action, Action is all we want. Unazaji, because your time is a golden bug. You know, can you imagine a child? Like, mm-hmm. I, was in, I was in school when I started hearing about corruption. Later years and still never seen. Not one. Not one big person. Fish. But let me tell you arrested. where I think sometimes we go wrong, Kwambox. And uh, I'll use the example of uh, the lifestyle audit that has been brought up. Yeah. We put things in place that are supposed to take care of us, but I don't think we see them to the end. For instance, what's the point of doing a lifestyle audit when it's a private affair? Yeah. As in, it's not given to the public. Mm. If we are saying that we should do lifestyle audits, mm. then Uhuru Kenyatta, who promised to be the first one to be audited, yes. should give that lifestyle audit and say, guys, in public, just like Bob Collimo, the late mm. Bob Collimo yes. did, he said, this is how much I earn, this is how my money comes in, and it was literally for the public to see for themselves. Like in Isasa, yeah. if you find a lifestyle audit, then it's a private thing. Yeah. Mm. Of course they're going to hide it. Okay, I just want to remind you that in the Constitution, Chapter 6, leadership and integrity is the, is the, is the title of that. Um, and, 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 and what we're seeing uh, after the last election is that a lot of our leaders actually have no integrity, you know, or there's a lack of integrity. Because if you're going to sit there two years, Ushakula, Kila, Kitu, and it's your first time. You know, you're, you're, you're sitting there, you've been accused of, you and your and, and your and your county mates, Mumekula budget, a whole county. And devolution was there to help, you know, resources reach... Get the services to the into, people. ...into different places. Mm. Look at now we are facing a, a national rain everywhere. People mm. are left homeless. We didn't even plan for this. And this is part of the security that we were told about. Yeah. Look at our, um, uh, um, our policemen turning rogue because of lack of, you know, uh, being paid properly. Mm. And our MPs are some of the highest paid people and aren't delivering. What is going on? Even in terms of manufacturing, mm-hmm. yes, no one is saying that. Um, their companies leaving the country. Yeah, companies are leaving the country. Even those that are coming, work or if you, okay, they're just 50 50 mm. because they don't know how they're going to sell because guys don't have money. Okay. Yeah. As we wrap this up, I can see a lot of people still trying to call. Um, I don't think we have time for that. What do we want to say? Because I think a lot of people, except one guy who said that it's part of the Vision 2030. Um, Everybody else. Everyone is. else has, uh, you know, says that BBI, uh, the big agenda, uh, big the four big agenda, four. Mm. is dead. So what are we telling the president? For me, I would say... Because I went on a message. I went on a message. I went on a message. I went on a word document. I went on a message. I went on a message. I went on a message. Now... Uh, What you're telling, dear Mr. President, the Big Four Agenda is a brilliant idea. However, let it not remain as an idea. Mm -hmm. It needs to come into action. And yes, it might be part of 2030. And of course, we don't expect that when we talk about affordable housing, it's something that will start uh, in January and by December it has been realized. But let's see reasonable, quantifiable steps towards that Big Four Agenda. Mm -hmm. BBI is a good thing. And for Kenyans, we can continue talking politics. But at the end of the day, it's my pocket that hurts. Mm -hmm. I need uh, healthcare. Yeah. I need the basic requirements for a human being, which is healthcare and education. Yeah. Is the key was sorted? The rest we can discuss. So, dear Mr. President, 
let's get the big four agenda going okay when uhuru wakes up mm-hmm. should go back to moses kuria remember that time he spoke about the big four agenda mm-hmm. akasema this is the amount of time that's remaining so the housing that you mm-hmm. mtapata he should stick to that yeah. so even their timelines they should just have timelines and kpis and tell themselves by the way we have two and a half years remaining so what can we achieve within that short time span mm-hmm. and see if we can bring it to life because it will really suck when uhuru leaves mm-hmm. and there's nothing we can remember him by mm-hmm. the only thing that we can see and I'm not so sure if it's a success SGR. <laughs> <laughs> it's a success when you're going nowhere. <laughs> it's a success kama wewe ni mahali. By the way going nowhere. Sus- Wait, he opened Suswa. Iko. Yeah. 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 I, every single day we have these conversations I hear the pain in Kenyan's voice including mine because Mike you mentioned something that on in all this seven years that the president has been president you know this if you check the economy they say that we are growing at this percent this percent I want someone one person to tweet at me and tell me that they felt that percentage in their in their pocket positive like if you felt it in your pocket tweet at me hashtag vibes MVP and tell me quam box you've said something wrong so I this I feel it personally but then in that same space in that seven years I have seen trillions disappear you know I've seen promises being given great promises I've seen some action you know some good action being happening like you know the Ministry of Health will hire some uh, will get some equipment but then in that same space that good action there's bad action the equipment is not being used because someone hasn't been hired because there's no professionals to do it you know um, uh, you you put out a uh, devolution so medicine is coming but the medicine is still not getting to the people so for me I'd really like to urge the president we would like to see people locked up for corruption that for me even for that pain that i have not seen that five percent in my pocket i'll be okay because i know that if one person is shikward mm-hmm. a big fish a fungwe to do um say you can die for 30 years 50 years or life yeah no single person will ever take money to do corruption then it will enable you to be able to fulfill your promises to kenyans otherwise kwayo machache dear mr president Mike here nakuletea. Is a Your word document nakuletea. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this conversation. Shout out to all our viewers and our listeners. You're live on Vibes Radio and KTN Morning Express. I'm going to let Mike get back on TV as we're going to get back into the music.